My name is Fazila Farouk. I'm the Executive Director of uh, SACSIS, the South African Civil Society Information Service. Um, on behalf of SACSIS, I'd like to welcome you all to our second annual Media Roundtable discussion. This year, we're examining how the media reports on climate change. Last year, we examined how the media reports on the economy. Um, SACSIS has an interest in how the media reports on critical development and socioeconomic issues because we believe in building a strong democracy based on an informed citizenry. For this interest, public interest journalism is very important to us. We care particularly about whether the media as the fourth estate um, resonates the aspirations of the majority um, in our country. And in South Africa, as we know, the majority are predominantly poor people. Or are the media in South Africa captured by special interest groups? Our interest in public interest journalism uh, stems from the fact that we're a social justice organization and we're interested in advancing the rights of the poorest in society. And particularly with respect to this whole issue of climate change, it is actually the poor who are most seriously affected by climate change. Um, poor people commonly live uh, on marginal land that is prone to drought and flood. Poor people also commonly in industrialized sectors of our society live in areas where heavy industries pollute um, the atmosphere and that also has devastating impacts on their health as well. Um, but climate change is obviously not something that only affects poor people, um, even though we as Saxes approach the, uh, the issue from that perspective. Climate change is something that affects everybody in society. We're all witnessing and experiencing changes in weather. It's affecting the way we, the way we live. Um, and it's for this reason that environmentalists have been lobbying governments for many, many years to do something about the problem of global warming. The problem, unfortunately, is that over many years of negotiations, we haven't arrived at any uh, negotiated deal on how to reduce global warming. Um, now, South Africa will be hosting an important meeting uh, in a couple of weeks' time, towards the end of November, early December. It's the latest round in international and global uh, climate negotiations, uh, commonly known as COP17. Many of you, uh, may have read about it in, in newspapers. Many of you here are environmental activists who've been working on the issue and tracking it very closely um, through, your, uh, through the work that you do. Um, and we're particularly interested in the run-up to COP17 because we're an organization that engages with the media. We're particularly interested in how the media reports in climate change. From our point of view, we're interested in ascertaining what is the media's messaging in the run up to uh, COP17? What are they reporting on with respect to climate change? Do we, as people working in civil society and in the environmental sector, or just people here with an interest in climate change, do we believe that they're focusing on the right issues? Do we think there are blind spots in the media's reporting? They'll talk to us today about the areas that they focus on and I hope that we're going to have a robust engagement and debate with them about these issues.